Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I will be going over a replay, a ones replay to be specific, and to kind of show you guys how to improve overall at the game. I haven't done this in a while, so, you know, I thought I'd give it another shot. And today's video, we'll be going over a ones replay, as I said, and uh, hopefully I can pick up spots where maybe you guys are lacking information, I guess, or, you know, to just help in general. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the video just me stepping in here just to say if you enjoy the content at all make sure to hit that sub button i really appreciate it if you do it helps grow the channel and at 2000 subs i'll be doing a little face reveal thing nothing too big and uh yeah that's also when all right into the replay here this is a ones replay i don't exactly what happened in the replay so hopefully <laughs> it kind of shows you like what to aim for look look at in your replays so i'm gonna quickly go to my pov for this game I'm gonna get rid of that scoreboard and we're gonna see what happens so i go for a kickoff right normal kickoff right there i play the flip all right right here the reason i probably get a goal out of this is because i didn't use my flip i stayed big body to the ball and Probably got to go love it. Yeah. So we're up 1-0. Pretty confident into probably the rest of the game here. But going for flip again. Uh, as I failed to describe in my uh, kickoff video that I made. Right here I'm aiming for the center of the ball. So if I slow the game down 10%. Right now, I'm looking at his name tag. It's a little bit to the left on my angle, or my screen. So I'm trying to flip this right, trying to get as much power as I can. As you can see, he also flipped with it. So we're about even. First one to grab that pad there. Usually would have possession over the play. I go for a little bump. Bad defense, honestly. Yeah, that's a goal. Yeah. What I should have done here differently is just not go for the bump is to sit on this pad sorry if i keep going back but if i sit right here like i can drive a little bit but if i just reverse here because he flips into it and i just hit it there and i don't stay in front of the ball and i'm messing up with the half whip and everything so just play a little patient there i would have probably turned that around and scored it same here this time the ball is over me. I collect it, bring it to my corner. Try to pinch it across. Very risky play because he could probably just preemptively go there. And I mess up ball and defense here as a free net. What I could do here differently is either fully challenge here, like jump off and hit the ball. But that, you know, commits me and I don't have another teammate. So I could also have played the bounce here, but... As you can see, I'm looking for the shot, trying to predict a shot. He touches it, I think, a little bit and just moves the path of the ball. So I could have done many different things differently there. It's just I chose the wrong option every single time. Let's see, regular kickoff. Yep, aim for the center of the ball. I don't get it to... I don't get possession right away, but in the end I do. I'm watching him the whole time. Very risky of me to do that, but... He's also playing super aggressive, and I just get out in front of the ball before him. And, you know, I put too much power on the ball. Right here, regular kickoff again. I don't grab that pad, so I grab the other two. I get the ball a little too far away from me. Right now, I'm looking for pads. So I can go back, grab the big pad, save. And he just gets a really good flick. There's two things I could have done differently here, just, just looking at the play. A, oops, A, I challenge right away, I don't go into my corner here. Or B, I go up, or even like fake challenge here, make him flick it earlier, but because now he's in like shooting range, and I'm not in a position to exactly get it. So if I go into fly cam here, I'm not covering the net. If I were to be better positioned, I'd be around here, even on the wall, like around this like section, and I'd be around right here, which then doesn't let him get the flick, 
or it puts me in a better position to save it because right there I'm not defending anything. But other option is I challenge it. Regular right, kickoff. Got the boost. Watch his car. Kind of put a powerful shot on. Grab his boost. I know he's used boost to go up. And he's using boost to go down. Boost to the 50. Doesn't get this shot right away. I go up the wall. I kind of just hit it away so I can watch him. I insta challenge. He wasn't ready for it. And yeah, score. Pretty simple there. I just, you know, challenge when he didn't expect it. He didn't get the touch he was looking for probably. Probably meant to pop that. And he just wasn't ready. Flipped into it. And, you know, it's a goal. But kick off here. As I've said this entire time, I aim for the center. Try to grab that pad. Don't grab that pad. Try to play cheeky. Almost got a, almost got a, not cheeky, uh, shadowy. Shadow, that's the word. Right now I'm playing fast. Wave dash on the wall. Wall dash, that's the word. And, you know, I get the goal. I just kind of outplay, like, movement here. I don't do anything too special. I play, I kind of play as buff by flip. Bluff, yeah, by flipping there. Almost aim it top left, but I don't. Right here I'm low boost. Got the boost. He takes it slow. Has to get around the ball again. So I just, you know, try to keep my speed. He goes for the demo because it's... When you're on the wall, you don't have many other options besides, you know, off the wall, up the wall, below the wall. Three options, but they all involve the wall, right? So... I just realized, keep the speed up, go down, because he's coming up. Unless he demos me when I'm going down, then... Uh... I know, nothing he can do. He's committed in his corner and the ball's in front of his net. I flip into the ball this time because I want the ball to go somewhere else. He calls my bluff there with the fake. I took the middle boost and my boost, so now he has to go all the way back. Right here, I'm watching him the whole time. I might have gone for a air cringe right there. Go the boost. I get in a better position to shadow. And what I mean by better position is right now I'm covering off half the pose or the left side of the map or I cannot speak right now. The left side of the goal. So he has the right side or the center for like an immediate shot and I'm angling my car so I can cover both. And you know, this guy has to have the ball, like he has to shoot it perfectly to get it around me. I, of course, make the save, you know, because go to defender, <laughs> you know, flat in three. And, yeah. Right here, I take position ball. Try to give it, kind of get it away. Give it away. Can't speak right now. Sorry about that. I'm trying to play aggressive here. And go for a pinch. I get bumped. Fortunately, I recover. Grab the boost. He gets his flicks, but, you know, I didn't mean to pause it there. Big thumbs and all that. Play it off crossbar, I read it. He can't get the way his car was rolling, right right here, the way his car was rolling. I could tell he can't get the reset. And two, he's probably lowish on boost and just isn't gonna make it. Fortunately he does get back to that though. He's on the wall. Making sure he doesn't go corner. Right here yet again taking up the corner. He goes for a low fifty, he learned. And uh, now it's a tie game. What I could have done here instead of jumping, because yet again I thought he was going to shoot it. But right there, if you looked kind of closely, I'll put on 10% on speed up for you guys here. On the. When he drops the ball, right there, that's when I should know to not jump. Right there is when you should know to not jump. It just kind of looked like he was going to you know, shoot it high, but there's very little chance he can do that from here. It's not zero, right? But it's very little. So instead of jumping here and flipping into the ball, because he's just going to flip in, he's just going to big body me, because he's going to have more of a car on the ball. He's just going to get a goal, and that's why the low 50 is so important. But 
back into the game. Kick off. I do hit it into him. I now have two boost. Looking to grab the boost. And, you know, I just don't get a good enough clear. And it goes in my net. So now I've given up the lead. Very unfortunate. I'm gonna go back here, play it safe. Insta Chow, because... No, he's not in a position to... He's not in a threatening position, necessarily. He, it's a scary spot to be in. But, you know, I realized he didn't take the the mid. The best he has here is, like, 30-40 boost that at best. And if I insta-challenge, he has to use the boost to get around me. And if he doesn't, then he's committed on my side. And, you know, I have the ball on his... He recovers faster than me off the kickoff, so I have to kind of go back, conserve boost, or grab boost. I uh, insta challenge again, you know, to kind of keep the... Kind of still keep him on his toes. We are try to grab some more pads. Grab that mid, just in case he doesn't get the corner. And I missed that somehow, but the ball still goes in. Best players in the world, am I right? <laughs> Further kickoff. He does a he's a little bit slower to the kickoff, so he's gonna like win it if that makes sense. I grab the boost, almost turned the wrong direction, get scored on because of it. He's gonna rip another shot. But I'm in the better defensive position, so I can just save it. I saw his car. If you were paying attention enough, you can see his car kind of getting closer to me. Not closer, but right there that turn. I just flick it. Gets it over him. Pop it up. He's low-ish, so I try to keep it high. Gets a good save. I grab the boost. I fake. I still keep possession. Ball doesn't necessarily go that way, so I, you know. Flip, because I know he's kind of low on boost. He probably has, like, 30, 40, maybe 50, if he's lucky. And, you know, I just... Flip and challenge. Possible kickoff goal. He's just been great with his shot placement this match. I I do gotta say that, so shout out to him. Not much I could do there differently, besides maybe be back somehow. But with like 30 seconds left, I'm just trying to play as fast, aggressive, but still like smart at the same time. Which is why I just kinda keep the ball. And unfortunately, he side flips. That would have been 8-6. Eight, eight, and you know, I would have had a stronger lead going into 20 seconds left. And yeah. Right there, I do show a win. But mind you, I have I have so many replays of win-loss, win-loss, wins, losses. So if you guys ever do want another 1v1 or 2v2 uh, replay, uh, do let me know. And... Yeah, I got really nothing else to say. Uh, I hope you guys maybe learned something. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Peace.